hello today i wanted to share a different kind of video than what i've done before and it's more of a vlog style i'm just going to be sharing a few snippets of our days while my husband was gone on a trip recently i would never say that i was you know single mothering it for a few days I realize that's a completely different scenario than what I was in, but being on a farm, homeschooling, while also working, can present challenges when my husband's not home. It means all of the farm chores fall on me. Um, I also want to really give my kids some memorable experiences and make it fun while their daddy is not at home, and so that's an added kind of part to our days as well. So if you're interested in seeing how we spend our days when my husband's not here and I'm covering all the bases here on the home front, then enjoy. It was really important to me to keep my routine as best as I could. And for me, that's watching Sydney Cummins YouTube videos with her daily workouts every single morning. So I was sure that I got up early before the kids so that I could get downstairs to work out. We have a small hobby farm where we have a few chickens and goats. So the first thing I do after I work out is to go and let the chickens out, which make them happy. <laughs> and then with our goats, I go and give them grain and water. <laughs> It's important to me to have a hot cup of tea and to read my Bible and a nonfiction book in the morning. And then I like to do the same thing in the afternoon, mid-afternoon, have a cup of tea and read just a relaxing fiction book. Something I decided to do during this time also was to use uncoated paper plates. This is a great tip because I did not have to add washing a whole bunch of dishes into my additional tasks. I planned some fun activities while my husband was away and one of those was to get out a small tent we have, put the kids sleeping bags in it and then they slept in the tent and I slept in the bed that was in that same bedroom and we all slept together and we read at night together and it was just a lovely experience. Another fun activity I planned was Shadows in the Forest, which is a game that you play in the dark at night, and the kids have been wanting it for a while, and so it was a nice surprise for them to be able to play that. We enjoy supporting Operation Christmas Child, which is packing shoe boxes of items for kids all around the world, and we really enjoyed doing it this time of picking out special gifts for each child, praying over it. Um, it's just a really fun experience. If you're not familiar with it, I will leave the link below. There's still time this year for you to support it, and if you're watching this video at a different time of year, you can still plan ahead and start collecting now. Okay, so I'll move on to special food things that we did together. Um, I found this cinnamon swirl crumb cake that was at Target a few weeks ago and purchased it specially to make with the kids during this time. And it was easy to make, fun to make, and then it was delicious. And so it was just a nice way to spend our Sunday afternoon was making this special dessert. When we were up in the city last week, we went to one of our favorite bakeries and I picked up a couple extra treats that I could save for our poetry tea time. And so I pulled these out. One tip that I found is I use these little doilies that I find at the Dollar Tree and it just makes a tea time or a special time with your kids that much more meaningful.
Lastly, we were able to get outside and run around in the woods with some friends of ours. And that's just so emotionally restorative and energizing. We loved it. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I know I really liked collecting the video snippets and I also really enjoy editing. So if you'd like to see more like this, then leave a comment below so that I would know to make more like this. Otherwise, until next time.